What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I feel like number one, this is the first time I've filmed a makeup video in my new flat and therefore in this setup. And two, I don't actually think you've really sort of like seen, oh wait, I was about to say I don't think you've seen my bedroom, but if you see my flat tour, you would have seen my bedroom, but we still be having the light in the background. Obviously, I feel like you guys know me, the lights and stuff, the vibes. That's very my brand. So obviously that was gonna come with me to the new flat. But yes, this is the first makeup video I've done in this new setup. And I've been really loving the way that I do my makeup at the moment. You guys have been really loving the way that I do my makeup at the moment. I've been posting like a ton of makeup pics on Instagram and essentially it is kind of the same. My style of makeup remains the same, but I always kind of switch out the products. I always love to put you guys on to new stuff that I have been loving. So essentially this is like my everyday glam makeup look. If you were expecting a rainbow cut crease, you have come to the wrong channel, but I know this wearable look is really, really popular and it just suits everyone. Super easy to do, but everyone always wants to know like which specific products people are using. So I am here to spill my tea on what I've been loving and using recently. I have listed and linked everything down below if you guys are interested. But yeah, I just thought this would be a fun video to film, not filmed a makeup video in ages so many of you guys wanted some makeup related content when i asked on my most recent videos so i'm here to deliver that today so without further ado before we start if you are liking this out of this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and let's just jump in to the for me personally the best everyday glam makeup routine um because hot girl summer is just around the corner and now is the time to get your makeup routine in check. If there was ever gonna be a time, it's now. Okay, so ever since getting this product, I feel like it's changed my life. I bought it because I'd seen so many people hype about it and like I wanted to see what the hype was about. This is amazing. It's the Waleda, Waleda Skin Food. It's a really intensive moisturizer and because I'm gonna be using this. This is what I'm using as like my moisturizer and primer. And I just love the way that it looks. Um, I'm gonna be, we are gonna be doing our eyes first because I do be loving that winged look and I just find it easier. But I'm gonna pop this all over the skin and because it is really like intensive, this just gives your skin time to absorb it. It's a really weird consistency. If you've, if you've tried this, you know the consistency. It's kind of like, um, Oh my God, what is the word to describe this moisturizer? Not me getting a hinge notification. Pasty? I don't know, but it, it's like body butter, but a bit more liquidy. They actually do this in a body butter and they actually do this in a light version. Cause like I said, this consistency is quite, it feels quite thick. They do a lighter version and they do a body butter version of this. I've got them both. Um, I've been obsessed with the body butter like on like my, my elbows and stuff just to really to really moisturize my skin but yeah look at like i don't know it's the glow for me folks it's the glow for me but right we're gonna be doing the eyes first the eyes so simple obviously just prime with concealer and then i kind of only really use like these two things this is a face palette it's so old like actually all the writings come off this is my anastasia beverly hills contour kit in medium which if i'm being completely honest do they even still do it anymore i tried to find it and link it but i don't actually think they've got it but then i love this as well this is the inglot and mora collab palette it's called fire it up and this just has every color for like everyday makeup looks that you could want and i love it because they've got that slightly more like tan like, I don't really know. They're not orange, they're tan shades, which I love, I love. So the eye look is gonna be really simple. I'm gonna go ahead and do one eye and then come back to speed things up and then I can go into like a bit more detail so I'm not doing both at the same time. Okay, so I thought I'd just zoom you in a little bit. Um, I can't believe I forgot. Before we even do anything, this has literally changed my life. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. And to be fair, so many of you guys have commented on my brows recently saying that, you know, I'm doing them a bit differently and that they look so good. And um, I just take a little spent spoolie. Mine literally looks like I've like <laughs> shoved it on my nose or something gross. Um, but essentially, I was never into that soap brows trend, but this is just, I don't know. I always thought soap brows, whenever I saw it on other people, it kind of left that like residue of soap and it just didn't look great. I don't know. This is just 
I, I don't know, maybe I'm just slow. I think I did use this in my last makeup tutorial, but that was a while ago. So if you missed that, I have been loving this. So essentially I just brush all the hairs up, almost like laminating them. I feel like that's kind of the vibe of this product is like a brow lamination. Oh, I kind of need to like pluck a few of these little. And then, yeah, brush them all up in that direction. So it looks like this. And then just going along the top, just so they're kind of like still in that direction, but brushed down like so and then obviously i don't i don't like to apply that product if i've already got like foundation and stuff so i always need to make sure that i do that first before i put any like foundation on or anything like that so we're not actually going to fill them thank you <laughs> so i'm actually going to fill them in now just set them like that but now we can prime our eyes i'm just going to take the concealer that i'm using this is the revolution concealer and what i've been loving doing with my makeup at the moment and is as you can see by this eye the eyes are so simple so simple i just think uh focusing on like having simple eyes and flawless looking skin that is my vibe summer 2021 i think i'm just getting lazier and lazier but i feel like as trends change minimal makeup like eye makeup is definitely i don't know what people are leaning towards but don't get me wrong on like tiktok and stuff like that when a big bright eye comes up and it's just like cut crease to the gods like beautiful i still love that but just like not on myself because maybe it's because i can't actually do it but yeah with that concealer under the brow you kind of want to like not sculpt out the brow but just kind of like trace underneath it ready for when you do put brow product on literally just so it looks like that but for me whenever it comes to makeup products i don't necessarily look for new eye products as such like that's not what i get excited about in terms of like eyeshadows but like lashes i'm always down for finding new lashes the ones that like just look the most like lash extension vibes and just like winged out i'm always down to spend coin on lashes and also face products i think it's like skin and lashes is like my favorite things when it comes to makeup now but yeah i'm literally gonna take the anastasia contour kit in medium and these two shades un dos don't know what language that was anyways on a big fluffy brush these dull beauty brushes are bomb obsessed with them so fluffy literally mix those two together and this is going all well actually i say all over but just like on the outer corner and then in the crease like you can be messy or just like really carefree with this that's kind of what i love i remember when my makeup routine used to take hours and now i'm like you need me to be ready in 20 minutes fine i will be multi-using products and yeah i think finding a routine that you love like i do this whenever i'm gonna do makeup this is what i'm doing sometimes i'll switch out like obviously you can see it's quite like a light color on the eye if i do want to be a little bit more like mm, glam i might go like a dark matte all over the eye but it's the same concept and products really um and i'm finally super super happy with this oh my god i can't wait to like like this is like really nice like first date makeup as well just saying and what i was gonna say is like i can't wait to go on like a date and like really think about my makeup and like what's that want to look like and stuff yeah i feel like i've got like a few things that i wanted to discuss but um because i'm talking like makeup and stuff i'm i'm finding it hard i want to tell you guys what i'm doing but like also want to talk about things i'm just going to take the brush that i used to apply concealer to my lid I'm not putting any more concealer on it but i am just gonna almost like use the excess product not cutting a crease but just kind of giving me a good base for what is going to go on the lid. It's like the main colour. You could just leave it like that if you want. But I am going to go in with... I am going to go in with this shade from the Anastasia palette. I think this is like meant to be the like under eye powder shade. Um, it's just a really nice peachy, peachy colour. And I'm just pressing that over, over the top. And that's literally it for like the shadows 
<laughs> that's literally it and now we're gonna do winged liner and oh my god you guys so you know i had that issue with the lash glue and it making my lashes and like lash line all crusty and blistered so it was the liquid eyeliner I'm guessing in combination with the lash glue that was irritating my eyes. Has that happened to anyone else? Because now I just do, I have to do just eyeshadow liquid, uh, like eyeliner and it's absolutely fine. So I'm taking the dark brown from this Mora Inglot palette. I really like doing my winged liner with eyeshadow, but now it's like, now I have to do it. Anyway, what we're just gonna do like a little, I'm using this angled brush, what's this from? Sample Beauty PB04. Um, and I just actually just kind of press the length of that. So it looks like this. And then just drag it back in. But what I love about this dark brown is that it is actually like fully dark brown. And it's super pigmented, super matte. And I kind of need it to be dark brown because a little tip that you'll see when I put my false lashes on, I kind of like to put it like a little bit up. Um, so either use a dark brown or a black, but dark brown on me, I think just looks a little bit better, a little bit softer. Yeah, just like that. And then I'm gonna take a little shader brush. This is from Doll Beauty. And I'm gonna take the shade Foxy, which is this top color here. Also, by the way, look at my press on nails. The pink on these is actually sparkly. I'm obsessed. They're press ons by Nails by Molly Scrine on Instagram love them but, but yeah i'm just taking a little shader brush and that foxy shade and we're just gonna literally tap most of the excess off and then sort of soften it slightly because because this is such a like lighter warm brown i don't know i just really like the kind of not like gradient effect it just really softens it he loves that i do so i'm just gonna take a that, that is it for the eyeshadow but um i'm just gonna take the white and clean up underneath like so and for mascara i am obsessed with this mascara at the moment this is the maybelline sky high mascara it has gone viral on tiktok and for good reason too because sometimes it make me it makes me think like i don't actually need to put lashes on today but we will be but it's so good it's it actually makes people like me who who had well, what i thought had just like little piddly little lashes it actually makes me look like i've got really long lashes and gives me volume it gives me length like i love that anywho that's literally eyes done i always like to do my lashes last in case like powder and stuff like flies around and sits on the lashes so now my fave part we can move on to the skin yes now we're on to the skin i feel like i'm gonna have moments that i'm gonna be able to talk to you guys but for foundation i've been loving a bit more of like a dewy lighter weight but like i don't know sateen finish Anyways, that kind of vibe with the foundation. So I like to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and a little bit of MAC Face and Body mixed together. And I apply it with a brush. So yeah, things that I wanted to talk to you about, guys about. So I did um, post a little bit on my, twi uh, yeah, on my Twitter and also on Instagram about how I wanted, um, it's probably gonna be up on Wednesday. So the next video after this one, next week. Video essentially on personal safety accessories and apps and you know just that kind of vibe obviously a lot of you guys will have heard um from the news that absolutely not only devastating but terrifying story and news about sarah everard and i think this is just particularly scary and why i kind of felt compelled to make a video that i'm going to be doing is because not that there is any excuse for a woman to be attacked on the street like there isn't but the scary thing is is that she did everything right that as a woman when you when we walk home on our own that we feel compelled to do she wore bright fluorescent clothing she let her friend know that she was leaving i think she called her boyfriend i don't think she was drunk like she was she was sober in her right mind um, everything right and this still happened to her and the fact that it happened by someone who's meant to be protecting us I think this is why the story is just so unbelievably terrifying because w <laughs> what do women have to do to be safe like I, I, I'm always in a loss for words whenever I like it comes up and I read about like I read about it and stuff and yeah, I said I wanted to make a video of some kind of 
well, after I'd heard that story, I just felt compelled to buy a few things because I do a lot of things alone. And buying these things, I just wanna make it clear. I mean, obviously I would touch about it in the video, um, is not the answer to this problem. Okay, like that it's not. We need to focus on the men and them being educated. And you know, that's the problem. I don't know, it's it's a bit of a funny one because like I want to do this video and I want almost to be like to keep safe, like, you know, or to help keep safe, or just like um like so many of you guys sent me in things to include like apps and like just like tips and stuff and I don't know. It it that video is gonna come. I just wanna make sure that I'm relaying the right message of like I am completely fully aware that this is not the answer to the problem but in the meantime while you know we live in the society that we live in and, and you know these things are happening and if you find yourself in similar situations to me and you know you do a lot of things alone these are things that i've just purchased recently to just make me feel that little like that little bit safer because even though i know that like we get told these things all the time and like we've things the things that i'm going to show you in this in the video like aren't new like We've been told about them, we've been advised about them. Like a lot of you guys might already have these things that like I've just recently got and wanted to show you. And it still happens. Like that's when you know that these aren't the answer to the problem. But yeah, it just, I don't know. I just wanted to use my platform to just show you guys a few things and like apps and like software on your phone and stuff like that. But if you don't think I need to make a video on it, also please let me know in the comment section. I'm just so conscious that I don't want it to, a tweet from a girl saying that she thought it was in poor taste. And I was like, oh my God, like, uh, that's that's not the reason I'm doing this video. I just want to be clear on that. 99% uh, amazing response of being like, yes, use your platform to talk about this and talk about things that people can get to make themselves feel safer. But I just want to be 100% clear that like, I'm not trying to say that this is the answer to the problem, if that makes sense. Anyway, sound off in the comment section down below. I want to have a discussion. I'd never would want to do something that comes across as, you know, either like unnecessary or just yeah in poor taste or anything like that so let me know in the comment section down below whether or not you you would like to see that video and just some of the things that i've got because um some of them are like if you live alone as well just some like at home things because obviously it's a very sensitive subject and scary subject and i just want to make sure i'm doing it right and i would not want to be promoting like nothing in the video is like a weapon like I just want to also clear that up. So yeah, you can, you can kind of see what I'm trying to say. So just like, let me know in the comment section down below. Number one, if you think it's an appropriate video to do, if you would like to see it, um, if you want me to share the items and stuff, like uh, just let me know what you think about that. All of those kind of topics will be like discussed in that video if I do it. So I just want to let, I just want to ask you guys if you actually do want me to do it. Because I've not actually asked on this platform. I've asked on Twitter and Instagram and 99% of it was all yes. But I did get, it's always like that one comment that sticks out to be bad. That you're like, oh crap, like I don't, I don't want to do anything that's like wrong or going to upset people or anything. So yeah, just let me know. God, that was a bit of a um, long win. But you know me, I always need to, ex I just need to explain myself. And I just want to make 100% sure it's okay. But Moving on to contour, we are going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I think this is in the shade Beautiful Bronze. Oldie but Goldie. Literally love this. Mainly because of the applicator. I'm just going to brush it here, 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 here. And then this is so good for just going down the nose. So this is how I've been contouring my nose recently. Is just like this. Then across the bridge like that and then at the end of my nose and then obviously on the chin area. So another thing that I wanted you guys to talk about, wait, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, which I've been seeing a few messages recently about it, is the podcast. Now, I told like every time it's come up, we've said, no, it's coming. We're just like sorting a few things out, yada, yada, yada. Obviously with the pandemic, filming together kind of was going to be really hard and we're going to have to wait and kept pushing it back and there's just other things behind the scenes but there is a bit of an update it's actually quite a, not like a drastic update but basically the podcast is going to go ahead but it's just me doing it and I'm just going to have guests on it and stuff I think just because we had so much pause on the whole thing um, because of um, the pandemic and not being able to film together and stuff I think the others just kind of had time to reflect and 
this has always been my passion that um, I have always wanted to do. Um, and it would have been amazing if we could have got it to work, like me, Hannah and Mads, like all three of us. And I think we just came to like the mutual conclusion that this is something that I, I'm i like really, really passionate about. They've got other things going on, like projects and stuff like behind the scenes, which is so, so exciting. And this is kind of like, this was always sort of my like, passion and something that I really wanted to do so it's just kind of worked out that this is going to be my podcast and they're going to guest on it like all the time and I'm going to get other guests on it so like what I wanted to ask you guys was for guest suggestions on the podcast because it would be easy for me to film sort of from home and get it like, sort of like up and going like ASAP guests on like via zoom and stuff like that but yeah so let me know kind of guests that you want to come on I've kind of drafted up the first like the first like season if that makes sense and just kind of trying to work out like what guests might fit the kind of things that I wanted to talk about um also let me know things that you want me to talk about on the podcast as well in terms of like episode ideas and stuff and guests to go along with it I, I kind of want to be a bit different with the guests oh by the way sorry I used the revolution concealer that I used to prime my eyes um I kind of want to maybe more sort of like different guests if that makes sense for example i think i want to talk about i don't know like fetishes and stuff as an episode because i actually think that they're really interesting like in terms of you know the weirdest fet like you know when there's like programs about it and stuff i just think it's so it's so weirdly interesting and i know some people out there have some ones that are uh relatively normal some have the ones that are super super weird and i kind of want to know the science behind it so i was thinking like i kind of want to get like maybe more of like a sex psychologist on to like talk about it like i want like guests like that you know like ones like not just people that we know but actual people that would be able to educate us like obviously i want to get like my friends on and, and stuff like that but yeah like let me know if that kind of vibe is of interest to you guys um i honestly can't wait to tell you guys like the name and when it's all going to be up and going but now we have kind of like a clear clear structure of like how it's actually gonna be we can actually get the ball rolling with it so that's like a little update on that i know you guys have been waiting for that and asking me like when's it coming and stuff so yeah just a little update on that like it's gonna be my podcast the girls are gonna come on it whenever they want and we're gonna have uh, we've written up some amazing episodes with them on it and yeah i just want to know you your guys' suggestions as to who else you might want to see on it and if you guys like the vibe that i just said like a little bit more of like educational vibes you know and actually like episodes where divulge into you know subjects like that and actually have an expert on i thought that was kind of like a nice vibe slightly different every other podcast i want this to be not just you know a place for me to be <laughs> explicit and talk about whatever i want i also want it to be really like interesting all at the same time you know and interesting in terms of like a slightly educational point of view like not every episode but some cream products are done we're now going to move on to the powder obviously Hello. Press, press this under, <laughs> press this under my eye. Notice that I'm pressing it into the skin. And this shade one is like amazing at brightening underneath the eye. But I've literally only put the shade one there. And now I take the shade two. And that goes on the chin. Just kind of like all over the face. But like, I don't pick up a huge amount of product when I do this. Then, guys this is the game changer and i've used it before but i'm gonna scream it from the rooftops until you guys try it this i mean don't judge mine and how like kind of brown it is but the beauty blender puff and then like a pressed like a, a pressed a loose powder this is huda beauty banana bread like this to really sharpen this up and then like underneath the eye we're gonna dab like this and i'm not joking like it makes the biggest difference your makeup will last so much longer and i feel like for summer especially you don't want your makeup to be going off or sliding off anywhere but i'm gonna leave the bake on the nose just while i fill it in my brows i've been loving these two products at the moment it's the benefit precisely my brow pencil in at 3.5 i focus this on the outermost part of my brows and then i use the refi brow pencil in light to do the front of my brows so obviously we've still got that product in but these are them before and these are them after like i just i love that i love the way that these look i'm like and that especially having that brow freeze on before applying product is just so quick and easy now we're just gonna brush that powder away we are gonna take the contour kit again and i'm just gonna take the kind of warm up whoa 
this warmer bronzer shade and I am going to be using that as a bronzer. I kind of like it a bit, a bit softer but do like to warm up the skin a wee bit. Just like dust it like lightly down like the bridge of my nose. I'm also going to take that colour, the warm brown, and I'm going to run it underneath my eyes as well. Bottom lash mascara on. I'm going to put some shimmery bronzer on as well. As you guys know, my golden hour one from my palette is, is the best. I'm sorry, but it is just a little light dusting. And I find when I use this product, number one, I love to just put it like all over my body. But it means that I don't feel compelled to wear like an actual highlighter because I also go in with a bit of a shimmery blush. Um, I use the MAC Fairly Precious. And this is one of their extra dimension blushes. And it just has like that kind of highlighter, like glow vibes anyway. And I just love, I don't, I feel like I don't need any more. And I just love the way that that looks. And now these are my favorite lashes at the moment. Okay, so these are the Kiss. You know, I always say when it comes to lashes, I love ones that look like lash extensions. So Kiss actually have a range called Luxtensions collection. And these look like this. Um, I've left them linked down below, but these are my eyes before. Um, I'm gonna pop them on and show you them afterwards because I think these are my new favorite lashes. And these are them weird. Let me like zoom in a little bit. Like they're just the most perfect amount of winged out, like so subtle. This is why I kind of said this is really nice. Like first date makeup as well because I feel like everything's so soft but I'm just obsessed with those lashes I am gonna have to be I will be purchasing them in like bulk but now for the lips I'm gonna be taking the peaches lip liner in borderline I'm gonna be outlining my lips with this but really like feathering it in as well and you can see it's quite like a soft softy kind of color so what I like to do is take the morphe lip liner in bite me which is a slightly darker, more brown shade, and just put this on the cupid's bow and underneath the top. And then I go in with the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Crush. So yeah, just cover my lips with that. But yeah, for me, that's just like a little bit too pale, but I love the color, if that makes sense. So what I love to do is go in with the blush from Made by Mitchell in the shade Peach Sugar. And just dab that, pat that on. I don't know. I'm sure there's like a, a liquid lipstick that is actually this color, but I just think that that adds the most beautiful, like peachy, matte, soft tint to my lips. I don't know, but yeah, essentially that is it. And I just go in with these two setting sprays. I've fallen back in love with the Revolution Hyaluronic Thick Spray. I raved about this for so long. I don't know what this does to my face, but it, all I can describe it as is like the final snatch like it just because obviously we went in with quite a lot of like powders and stuff it just makes everything look so natural and flawless on the skin and then i like to go in with the super fix super hold so then we've kind of had that moisture and fix from that and then this is just going to lock everything in place but that is it that is literally the finished makeup look so i know nothing too adventurous or anything like that but i feel like i have used a ton of new products and combinations and just like techniques and ways that i've been doing things so i really hope you guys like it you guys have been really complimenting me on this makeup look on my instagram so yeah i thought it was about time that i do a makeup video in the new bedroom in the new setup and just have a little chat with you guys show you the makeup and just get your view on a few things so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and you haven't already make sure your notification bell is on and yes i will see you in the next video um it will be up to you guys whether it's what we think it's gonna be or not um but if not i will just do something else that's no problem um so yes thank you so much for watching and i will see you then bye guys